Okay, so here it is. This is my new seat belt tensioner. Now, originally I was going to design my own. I had already started, actually. It was going to be something similar to this, but um, I was talking on the forums to Chris Green, I think his name is, um, Flag Ghost, he goes by on the Discord channel, and he hit me up and said, do you want to try my design out and do a video and see what you think of it? So, in a time when um, I'm kind of short on time of doing my own projects, I just thought I'd take the plunge and give it a go. Now, it's just running off an ATST so AASD 7 motor, a bit hard to see there. So it's exactly the same. Here, his design actually calls for a 90 ST, but um, I run 80 STs on my rig, so I thought it'd be better to have a spare motor in case I do um, one of these fail for whatever reason, I can just pinch this one. So the only modification I had to do was the spline, the shaft is different, so I had to just modify that. But other than that, everything seems to fit up fine. I just ordered the ADST bracket for here. And um, yeah, this is on a bunch of bearings and some rod, and it, it's all printed in PTG. And I think it's a nice looking system. He has um, some different sort of angled brackets you can get, um, you can mount them to the seat. So he's got a couple seat additions where you can just, um, yeah, mount them to the back of your like carbon fiber or your fiberglass backing and have the rollers right up here so it's pulling straight back. But for me, I thought this was the easiest way. I just laser cut this bit of MDF and drew up all the holes and stuff, mounting points in CAD and the laser just cut all the holes and everything fitted up sweet. Um, in the future, I'll probably make a little bar here and that's going to have a couple shoulder rollers up here to, just to keep it pulling back so it pulls back and down and I'll mount my rear speakers on the side of it but that's a job for another day now this is uh, hooked up to I've got a white version AASD some people are going to hate that with their if they've got a bit of OCD but um, they're the silent version so you don't get that 16 kilohertz whine like these ones, but so eventually maybe one day I'll flog these off and spend a bit extra and upgrade to all whites, but honestly, the noise doesn't bother me anymore, I'm so used to it. The um, DB25 comes in and plugs into the seventh output on the Thanos controller on the side here. Now, I've also intercepted pin 10, and that, is plugged in to this e-stop right here so basically let's see if we can get a picture up you can see down there we've got all seven actuators and park mode if I hit that it actually disables that driver and then when I enable it it calibrates by itself and puts it in the ready position now the calibrating force is obviously set fairly low at the moment because it doesn't need any tension on it to to um, successfully cal successfully calibrate. So I'm going to do some tweaks tweaking in the AASD driver settings and get it so it still rolls because I want to be able to fit the harness up, have it the seat in position, flick the E stop, and then have it pull back tight on my chest, calibrate, and go from there but for now I might just um, just see if I can get it working in fly PT and do a bit of a uh, bit of testing excuse the mess in my room at the moment I've always got projects going on so there's stuff everywhere but that seems to work rather nicely the east up there overall out now I think he charges 40 US dollars for the plans and that comes with all the 3D files, it's got like a build, um, schematics, all the part lists, like full build of materials. It's, it's, it's quite an easy, easy build, pretty well designed. I think beginners will be able to have no dramas <laughs> getting that assembled and set up. He comes, he's also tuned all the AA SD driver settings, so all the settings that go on there, he sends you a list with all that. So I think 
when you're kind of time limited like myself at the moment, 40 bucks isn't, you know, too bad to have just all the hard work, guesswork done for you. Um, he does do a, a, a fully built option if you want him to print it and build this for you. I think it was about 230 US. I'll have to, I'll have to look at the prices. I'll put them up on the um, screen when I edit this up, but probably should have been a bit more prepared for that. So yeah, um, what we're going to do now, we're going to put some games on and see how it goes. Wow, alright. Oh, yeah, alright, she's working. Gotta get used to this car again. I've been trying to get used to the AMG. This one's a bit. Anyway, more direct but steering, so yeah, that's no, cool. Alright, we're gonna stomp on some brakes here. That's all. Wrong gear. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you can really feel it. Really feel it pulling around you. When the rig surges, it's all in synchronous with the surge, which is good. I guess it would be. It's not the same controller, but wow. You can even feel it tugging on you over the bumps down the straight. That's so cool. Oop, a little wide there. Too busy focusing on the actual <laughs> tensioner than the racing, so I should probably focus on that. Oh yeah. See if we get anything like this. A little bit, yeah, it's tugging a bit. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tug it down. The oh, it pulls in tight there on hard braking. That's awesome. Just backing off the throttle, you can feel it. I gotta get left now. That's not a good start. Now it would it would work a lot better with the the fifth point on the harness connected but for now I'm just on the four point mainly because it's going to be a pain in the ass having the fifth point sitting down there and getting in my way it's just another thing to add on but I might add it later this is actually a six point harness so it's a bit trickier to mount everything up but you know what I like it regardless <laughs> I love the bumps and the, the tugging.
tipping it in. Slam the brakes, ready? Yeah, that's cool. Hopefully you can see it moving in the camera out there, I haven't actually checked, so... <laughs> I'll put some blue tape on it. One thing you gotta get used to is you can't reach around the rig, you're kinda locked in with the seat belt. So I do have a feeling it's not gonna be an every session kind of thing having the seat belt on. But for those long sort of sessions where I'm just plugging away at some safety rating or something. Or just by myself, you know, like if I'm just gonna set in for a couple of hours, I think it's fine. Because once you're in and you're just doing race after race, not a drama. But if you're with mates and you're like having a few beers, you got to get out every couple of laps, you know, every couple of races for a piss and get another beer and all that. It'll get pretty old, I reckon. But um, yeah, no, so far, awesome, awesome work. Chris Green, Flag Ghost, love it. He's done a lot of work on the uh, Fly PT mover setting side, so it's, it's too nice. So he only got like a hundred mil of travel or something i mean it's probably a bit more than that but it doesn't use nearly any of that it doesn't have to once you're snug in the harness it's only probably got to pull like yeah 50 75 mil i guess to like give you that effect anymore you don't really want it to accidentally like crash you into the seat i've got my e-stop right here which is pretty handy i can just any issues i hit that but um The correct line through there, but <laughs> it'll do for testing purposes. Oh, yeah, just hitting the brakes a bit. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 100. Well, if you haven't um, tried Automobilista 2 yet, I suggest you give it a go. It's actually pretty awesome. You can have it for like 10 bucks off the CD Key website, which is a bargain, really. It's pretty fun. 
hopefully I can might need a bit of tuning the seat out ten, like just for my style probably get a bit more movement out of it maybe a bit more tugging but I think it's set up pretty damn well if you ask me that's wicked stomp pulls it up Well, there you go. So, my final thoughts. I would highly recommend anyone looking at getting a bout tensioner to get a bout tensioner. The added immersion is just awesome. Like, we're always looking for extra immersion in these things. I've uh, recently just installed a base shaker setup. I'm not sure if you can see that. But, um,. Just that alone, I'll do a video on that soon as well, I think, but but just feeling the detail in the rumble strips and um, and the road surface and tyre slip and stuff just adds to the immersion and, and the belt tensioner is exactly the same. So yeah, it might not be for everyone. I'm probably going to have to make little boxes or something and hang them on the side so I can like just keep the belts in there when I don't want to use it maybe some boxes here and throw them over just for those days where I can't be bothered but it's a yeah it's a long time coming that's for sure but I'm so glad it's finally happened so yeah if anyone's looking for a easy solution um, hit up flag ghost on discord or I'll, I'll drop his email in the um, video description below but he basically gives you one of his Fly PT profiles. You just merge the belt file in with your with your settings, with your profiles, should I say? And yeah, where you go, you get your AASD servo driver settings. He sends you the build list and all that. So it's pretty it's pretty um, stress free sort of a build when you do it like that. It must be I, I, looking at um, yeah what's involved in setting it up I'm kinda glad that I went this route because it would have taken me forever to get it feeling right but out of the box I probably can do a little bit of tweaking for my liking but the hard work's done and all I had to focus on was printing and where I'm gonna mount it on the rig so yeah anyway hope you enjoyed the video it's a bit long-winded but I'll see you in the next one